Hello to you all, how are you? My name is Lorena Victoria. Welcome to Victoria Moon Tarot. Hope you're doing really, really well. Today's pick a card reading or pick a deck reading is what is your person thinking right now? So what's in their thoughts? What's in their head? What are they thinking about with you and your connection? Or what are they thinking about you? Let's have a look what spirit is guided or let's have a look what spirit wants you to know right now about everything that's going on. So what I want you to do is choose between reading one, reading two. So we have the black and gold right away and we have the red and gold right away. If you need a few extra moments to choose your deck and you want to be intuitively drawn to either one, you're very welcome to pause the video. Timestamps will be in the description box beneath this video as well. Private readings are available with me. They are video recorded and they're personal to you. You are sent a, um, a link so you can watch it. The link is private so no one else sees it but you. So if you would like one of those about your situations or whatever is going on between you, uh, and another person, or if you just want general guidance on anything really, if you career, uh, family, anything at all, I can read for you. I do stay away from health readings for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, if you'd like a tarot reading with me, check out the description box beneath this video, and then you will see all the information you need and the links so you can book one. Okay, should we get started on what your person's thinking right now? So I would like you to choose between reading one or reading number two. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like what I do because I will more readings will be coming as well. And turn on the little notification bell if you do. And then you should be notified every time I have a brand new upload. Okay, my loves. I will be quiet now. <laughs> so you can choose between your readings. And I will see you at your readings. If you can't make up your mind and you want to listen to both piles, feel free to do that also. Thank you so much. See you at your readings. Hello there, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number one. Let's have a look what your person's thoughts are. What's their thinking process about you, about your situation right now? Okay, what are they thinking right now? What are they thinking right now? I will be doing the thoughts, uh, uh, what I call the thoughts and feelings cards at the end of your tarot reading as well. So stick around for that. Okay, you have a seven of cups in reverse and the strength card is also in reverse. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pull out a couple more cards, but I can, can already see the, the gist of the situation. I think your person thinks they may have messed up or they think that you think that they've messed up in some way. But that strength card is telling me that they may have messed up because the strength card can be a card of self-sabotage. Um, meaning they may feel that something that they've done or said has caused something between you. They don't know that though, because the Seven of Cups is reversed. Seven of Cups right way up is about confusion. In reverse, it's like they need to know that. Yeah, they need to talk. Some talking needs to take place. We've got the Three of Pentacles, so we they could be doing anything from messaging you to arranging to meet or they want to I think they want to talk to you is what I can hear here you do have the three of pentacles often a card of collaborations they may have also gone through your friends to get to you some of them as well please remember these are general tarot card readings so um not everything I say is going to be exactly spot on for your situation but you know what's resonating for you don't you so um and what makes sense to you as well. We have a queen of wands in reverse situation. So they've annoyed you, haven't they? They know that they're not sure if they have or not. But I think they've got a good uh, gist now that maybe uh, that they have. So I don't know whether you're, you haven't talked to them or, um, or your behavior has been a diff bit different. Perhaps you've made them wait before you message them. Uh, maybe your messages are short and sharp. So I think they've got it. They've sort of woken up to the fact that they may have messed up and they've upset you because you don't want to cross the Queen of Wands in reverse. She can be pretty aggressive, angry, and can actually go cold on someone. 
um, or what I call remove her passionate side from this person right now. So they may feel they've done something wrong to you. Some of them may ask or want to try and sort it out here with the three of pentacles, three of pentacles coming out here. But they, I think they're getting a good idea that they may have upset you with this reading in some way. That strength card is telling me there's a weakness here because the strength card is in reverse. So it's like, it's like, oh my God, what have I done? Have I upset you? Have I embarrassed myself? Um, maybe, um, maybe they're feeling your restraint at the minute maybe your messages aren't forthcoming or you don't feel like talking to them so much or maybe they're sensing that your attitude has changed towards them or well I think you're angry at them actually you're annoyed at them and now they know it with the seven of cups coming out here let me get some oracle cards and I'll get some message cards here as well so it's like how do you how does your person fix this now do they need to talk to you are you going to message them Mm. they want I think they need to I think they are thinking about sorting it out with you with the three of pentacles there but they'd like to talk I think is what I'm seeing here let's get some oracle cards loyalty trusting reliability and believing look at that beautiful dog there they're like a puppy dog aren't they I know looking at the dog but you know you may find that your person's going to make it up to you with this spread. It's just also an intuitive feeling that I'm getting. It's like, how can I fix it? You know, puppy dog eyes may be begging you to be, you know, they're pretty loyal to you, I feel. They may even buy you a flower. <laughs> Trusting, reliability, believing. They believe they can fix this. They believe that they can turn this passionate lady the right way around, you know, and have you back to the way you used to be. Confident, feisty, passion, sexy, you know, alluring person here. So I think they know, I think they've got the, I think they've got the message now that you've, uh, they've annoyed you in some way, I feel. They've got the wrath of you, of your annoyance. We've got the card of happiness. Unlock the doors to happiness. So your person's energy is quite sweet, actually. They may have messed up. I kind of feel like they've been a bit of an idiot. It's the feeling that I'm getting. They may, you know, have been a little bit messed up, may have been a bit stupid, a bit silly. But I feel like they know they've messed up here. They want to fix it, I feel, as well. Let's get some of these message cards for you. Right, what was that one? Ah, first one out. I feel like I ruined everything. Yes, I think that they've messed up a little bit. Soulmate. Let's get a few more. You deserve better than me. So you are working at a higher plane than them. It's like they've not been very sensible. It's the feeling I'm get, um, give it, being given. And can we start over? So, yeah, they want to start again, don't they? It's like, oh, my God, how am I going to make it up to you here? How can they do it? Let's get some of my lover's oracles here to have a look what's going on. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look what this is. Sacred union. Honour and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. So maybe this is a lesson that they won't repeat, I feel, guys. Maybe they've learned from their mistake. And I don't, I don't think they'll be repeating this one again. Okay, my lovelies. That's what they're thinking right now. I hope that helps you moving forwards. Of course, if you're attracted to reading too, you're very welcome to go over there and listen to messages from that pile as well. Thank you so much. I'll be back really soon. If you're not a subscriber, please do turn on the little bell icon and drop a comment if you want as well. Give the video one of these. It really, really does help. Thank you, love. Take care. Bye bye. Hello loves, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number two, which was the red and gold rider weight. So what is your person thinking right now? Let's have a look. Okay, the sun, that's just shot right out of the deck. So the sun is usually a happy card in a reading. It's, it's telling me that your person is really quite happy right now. Ace of wands, they are happy, aren't they? Okay, 
there's some inspiration some new new passion here they're feeling something let me tell you okay i do have the ten of uh, wands and the king of swords okay this is different Okay, feeling I'm getting, guys, is they are happy, okay? The King of Swords needs to show it a little bit more. I always think the King of Swords' face is a little bit miserable. He hasn't got a smile on his face. I feel like you make this person happy, but maybe their personality is that they don't show it to the everybody, only to certain people. Maybe you're one of those special few. Um, they may be a type of person that works on a mental... Mental? Works more in their heads than their emotions so there's only a few people that they show this side to they are happy but something is stressing them out here with that ten of swords it might be that they over, they're overthinking about something they may feel like um they may feel like um oh hang on a second what was i saying they meet, I'm, the feeling I'm getting is they need to show this side of them to you. It's like they don't. Um, are they burdening you with things as well? I can see, I can feel as well. It's like maybe it's, it's been a stressful time for someone and they need to show that they can be happy around you and stuff like that. I'm also feeling that um, this person may have come back into your life because I've just pulled out the Eight of Cups. So I'm wondering whether this, this person has returned or you've returned to this person's life uh they need to show their happier side definitely i can feel with this reading as well and they need i feel like they they know that they need to show you that they're going to be there as well so there's been some stress i'm not saying there hasn't because there has and it's telling me that they maybe overthink and put stress there when there doesn't really have to be they're too logical possibly at the minute or too logical for you and I'm th I feel like you're trying to bring out this sunny, passionate side and they're just, they're struggling with it, I feel, very much so. They are there for you. They may have returned into your life, some of them, okay. Um, this could be someone who's thinking of also of coming back in because they've, they've missed your happy side. They've missed that vibrancy, that passion. Uh, maybe they want to be happy again or they're making themselves happy again. I'm just going through different scenarios because this is a general reading, okay? They're there for the long term. I kind of feel like this time they want to be there for good or for, you know, yeah. See, the Ten of Pentacles is leaving a legacy. So it's like I need to wake up and just show that. And he said flowery side to show all that passion and give it to you, which I think has been lacking on them for some reason. Pride, arrogance, ego, stubborn. That's what it is. Too much pride. Bit of arrogance, a little bit of ego going on. Maybe they are they are stubborn, possibly. That could be they just worry a lot, you know. And it comes out as this, arrogance, ego, stubborn. So pride is getting in the way here. So um, I do feel, I'm actually sitting quite upright in my chair, like really straight back and everything. So I do feel like they should be showing more of that happiness. They might be coming across to you as a bit miserable. <laughs> That, that, that's the feeling I'm getting right now. A bit of a misery gut. I feel like you're sunnier than them as a personality. It's like you've got a sunnier side to you than they have. It could be just the way they are, of course. We've got wish, make a wish. So you've got a wish card there, guys. So when that card appears in this deck, you can make a wish that might um, go in your favour. And we've got the card of talk. Talking keeps your relationship alive. You see, I always think the King of Swords and the Rider Waite has like a, a line for a mouth. And I always think they're not talking. They're not expressing their emotions, I feel. The person needs to come out with a little bit more, I feel. Um, they must know it if it's it's coming up in their reading. They know they have to express more love towards you, possibly more love, more passion, more joy. 
pride is stopping them then pride okay let's get some okay we've i've pulled out i abandoned people to make myself feel important okay here's another one there's so much i want to tell you i know they're holding back i know it you are the love of my life why don't they just say it then ah we've got jealous and possessive here as well we all, I'm going to get one more card here as well. Let's just shuffle again before I drop the entire deck. Soulmate. So they're holding back. Are they just shy or just don't like to talk about emotions very much? That's the feeling that I'm getting. Emotionally not ready, maybe. Let's get an oracle card for you to finish your reading off today. Okay. Pull out a card. What is this? Okay. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. That could be advice for you or your person, by the way, with that card there. Okay, my lovelies, I hope that resonates with you and I hope it gives you some clarity on some of your situations. If you find that it does, you can drop a comment, give the video a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you're already not subscribed, but I do upload several times a week if you like my readings as well. Thank you, loves. I'll be back really soon with another video. I'm sorry, I just realised my light is in a funny place. I hope you can see the table okay. Thank you, loves, anyway. Thank you so much. Take care till next time. Bye-bye.